Nuclear battery detected. reports of multiple attacks on several locations worldwide, in addition to many major cities across the world having been completely destroyed. From the footage here, we can see that these large craters stretch about a couple of kilometers in diameter. We return to you with some interesting development. The monstrous kaiju known as Godzilla has been responsible for creating them, since we know that this kaiju stands to almost 400 feet tall. Not anymore. We don't yet have confirmation on his measurement, but what is terrifying is that researchers tracking his movements and behavior say he is still growing. His colossal mass reaching towards the heavens, and with this no longer able to see the monster's upper body, the amount of destruction that he can impose is unfathomable. I hope you enjoyed that. I had so much fun making all these interesting space scenes and now I'm gonna show you how I made them. First thing was to write out a story. Recently I made a video called Micro Godzilla, the king of the insects and a lot of you enjoyed it. That gave me the idea of doing the exact opposite where he gets bigger and bigger. So I made a storyboard with all the shots in the film and started to make these planet scenes in Adobe After Effects. I used this really cool plugin called VC Orb by Video Copilot that lets you make these amazing planet scenes that render super quick all inside of After Effects. 
This is an excellent tutorial by Andrew Kramer teaching you how to make a very realistic earth scene. Godzilla was separately rendered in Blender and added in as a 2D layer. Of course, you've seen me do this several times in my previous videos. The compositing of the live action shots were done using Red Giant Super Comp. This After Effects plugin makes compositing fog, haze and light traps so much easier. It's just a few clicks to go from this to this. If I were to do this without Super Comp, it would require so many additional pre-comps and steps. So this is a total game changer for compositing. I also used Red Giant's Trap Chord Particular to make Godzilla's fiery atomic breath. Another cool effect called Star Glow, also by Red Giant, was used to make the stars in the last shot. The great thing about using tools like these is that it does most of the laborious and boring tasks for you, so you can put most of your time on the more important creative aspects of filmmaking. For the deep space shots, we used a collection of stellar objects from Production Crate. So I basically take a bunch of space cloud images and arrange them at different depths and that's it. They also have an amazing collection of VFX stock footage and soundtracks which was super useful in putting this video together. As seen in my previous Godzilla videos, the night shots were all done using Element 3D inside of After Effects. The advantage of working in Element is that it's so fast and you still have all your compositing controls right through to the final render. Alright guys, that's it for the making of this video. Thanks once again to Altiori for the wonderful voiceover work. If you like Godzilla, you should totally visit their channel and watch their videos. If you guys have ideas for my next video, please leave a comment and let me know. If you're new to the channel, check out my previous videos and consider subscribing. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.